friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Saturday, so it's another grocery haul day. I went to two stores this week. I found some new food finds that I'm super excited to share with you. So if you are as excited as I am about another grocery haul, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in the description box, you're going to find nutrition coaching. I do offer for personalized to you macros and calories so you know where you should fall every single day to lose weight and to reach your goals. So definitely take advantage of that service. If you're looking for a little bit more one-on-one -on -one support, I do offer 30 and 60 minute coaching sessions. So all of that information is on my nutrition coaching website. Also in the description box, you'll find links and discount codes to all of my favorite things as well as my Facebook group. We have a huge challenge starting today for the month of May. We'd love to have you take part in it. So head on over and join my Facebook community. 18,000 members. It's supportive and loving. We'd love to have you join us. So come on over. So let's jump into a, this week's grocery haul meal plan and what you'll be seeing on meal prep. Plus, I'm going to be sharing with you a great gift idea for all of those moms in your life for Mother's Day. Before we jump into this week's grocery haul, I want to share a fabulous Mother's Day gift with you. These are artificial roses or flowers with an LED string light in a glass dome. So with Mother's Day right around the corner and these being sold on Amazon, you can have them shipped to your mom or to your doorstep within plenty of time to get them to her for Mother's Day. They come in a white box and then inside the white box is this beautiful blue and gold box and this varies depending on the arrangement or the flower that you choose. So I'm going to show you three different flower options and then I'll pop here on the screen the other available options from their store. So when you open it up, again, Again, it's this beautiful box. They have a gift card that you can write a note to your mom or your loved one on so you can even save the step of picking up a card. It's packaged securely that you could ship it if necessary. This is the single rose and I think it's absolutely beautiful. And like I mentioned, it does come with an LED string that is wrapped around the rose and you'll see how gorgeous this is when we light this up. The best thing about this is it's USB so you can plug it into any USB. USB cord, plug-in, or outlet. So let's take a look at it lit up. It, it does come in a glass dome, so it just shines with all of those lights. So there are several settings that you can choose from for the lights, six in total. So I'm going to show you here quickly all of the different light settings, everything from flashing, white, colored, stationary. So you can choose what lights you like best for the occasion that you're going for. I also wanted to show you this dual rose. I think this one is my favorite one. I love that there's two roses and you'll even see some extra rose petals in the bottom. This one as well is USB. Here's the box that it comes in compared to the single rose. And here are the lights and what these double roses look like with the lights. So white blinking, colored blinking. You can even again have them stationary. So I have to say my favorite is either the stationary white this one here or the colored blinking but that nice slow blink this one here where it kind of fades in and fades out so that's what the double rose looks like and then I want to show you this one this is gorgeous this looks like a gold glass rose and again it does have a couple of rose petals in the bottom here's the box so you can see that all the boxes are different but every single one of these is stunning so here it is lit up and I have to say that I really like the look of this gold flower, this iridescence of this flower with the lights. This is my favorite look. I think it is absolutely stunning. I'll link these all down in the description box, less than $30 a piece for Mother's Day. Here's my grocery haul for this week. I went to Fred Meyer and Trader Joe's. I have a couple new exciting 
food finds for you guys as well. Picked up two bottles of kombucha. I did just receive my Imperfect Foods order, so I have several bottles from that, but I wanted to make sure I had enough for the week. They were less expensive at Trader Joe's, so I picked up two bottles. A cheese tray for meat, cheese, and crackers for the week. Picked up some deli roast beef. We're going to make French dips, and I thought this would be easier than having to cook a roast and then slice that up for French dips. The Trader Joe's Light Shredded Three Cheese Blend. I needed this for several recipes this next week. For the French dips, I decided to get the Jarlsberg Reduced Fat Swiss Cheese. I picked this up at Trader Joe's. They don't have this at my local Costco. And this is only one smart point per slice of cheese. They're nice, big, thick slices, and it's really delicious Swiss cheese. Trader Joe's Corn Chips for Troy's Dip, of course. A can of Bush's Vegetarian baked beans. This is for meal prep this next week. The vegetarian, just so you guys know, a little pro tip, is the lowest calorie, lowest point option of the Bush's baked beans. Trader Joe's small curd cottage cheese. This is for Palmer. Like I mentioned last week, we've been giving him cottage cheese in his food, just about a tablespoon or so, and it's supposed to help with calcium and help his little ear stand up. A loaf of the Trader Joe's sliced sourdough bread. We really like this bread. It makes such good toast and grill cheese. A pack of hoagie rolls for the French dip. I found a couple new yogurts that I'm really excited to try. This is the traditional Skyr Icelandic provisions in wild blueberries with bilberries. So I'm excited for this. I just am getting bored of the same yogurt. So Fred Meyer actually has quite a big selection. So I picked up one of these. I wasn't sure points or anything on it, but I just wanted to give it a try. And Siggy's had a new yogurt or new to me. This is the simple ingredient yogurt. This has 14 grams of protein, eight grams of sugar, and it is in coconut. And you guys know how much I love Siggy's yogurt. Nice, clean ingredient yogurt. I couldn't find au jus at the store. I don't know if I just wasn't looking in the right aisles. So I decided to get the beef consomme. This will be the dipping sauce for our French dips. I was completely out of cornstarch, so I picked up the Clabber Girl non-GMO cornstarch. Troy asked for whipped cream for the strawberry pie that I made last week in meal prep, so I just picked up the fat-free ready whip. I don't eat this because it has carrageenan in it, but it was on sale, so I picked it up so he could have it with the strawberry pie. A small bottle of orange juice. I need this for a dinner recipe this next week, and then whatever is left over, we can just drink it up. One of my favorite sweet treats are the chocolate chip cocoa meringues from Trader Joe's. Look how huge these are, and you can have three of them for 90 calories. They have little chocolate chips in them, and honestly, one of them is a really good sweet treat. And I just, I haven't picked these up in a while, so I decided to grab them. The Vital Farms pasture-raised organic, so the best of the best when it comes to eggs, was on sale for $5.99 a dozen. So I picked that up because that is about $3 off compared to the normal price. Center cut bacon for a couple of dinner recipes. If you have a Fred Meyer or a Kroger, this private selection brand, you can actually have two slices for one point. So it is the lowest center cut bacon I've been able to find point and calorie wise. Can of biscuits. This is for a dinner recipe. This is just the seven and a half ounce home style biscuits. There's 10 total in the can. New Partake Cookie. I have never seen this flavor. This is the carrot cake. And you guys know how much I love partake cookies. They're delicious. They have great ingredients. They're gluten-free. They're top eight allergen-free. They're vegan. They are so, so good. So as soon as I saw that they had carrot cake, I had to pick it up. I'll definitely let you guys know in a future video what I think, but so far I've loved every partake cookie I've tried, so I'm sure this is no exception. The Chobani creamer was on sale for $2.99, so I went ahead and picked up the sweet cream. I couldn't pass that deal up, and this is good until June. I currently have like five coffee creamers, but the Chobani is really, really good. And the sweet cream is really hard to find in my area. And Fred Meyer had it and it was on sale. So of course I had to get it. A gallon of 1% milk for Troy until he goes back to work. We have to buy our own milk. I know first world problems. I did pick up some peanut butter cookies. Troy's been liking having these on hand and I did try one of these. They're really, really good. This is just from the bakery at Fred Meyer. Troy also asked for just a few breakfast things. So I thought I'd share these with you guys. I don't know the points. Of course, they'll be here on the screen for you. But if you're looking for com 
convenient breakfast. These are the sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits. And then these were on sale for 75 cents a piece. We've never tried them, but they are the sausage and pancake on a stick. It says 12 grams of protein, so not bad for a breakfast. I needed some whole milk for a couple of dinner recipes, so I always just buy this small one. It was $1.49, so a really good deal. It's one quart or 32 ounces. I was out of almond milk, and this is my all-time favorite milk alternative. This is the Forager Cashew Milk. It was on sale at Fred Meyer, so whenever I shop at Fred Meyer, I have to get this. It is so, so good, and it has nice, nice clean ingredients. Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles. This is for breakfast meal prep. Some russet potatoes. This is for dinner and I have a big recipe video coming your way here in this next week that I'm gonna be showing you some ways to utilize your air fryer and a grill to make some really good dinner. So I picked up some russet potatoes. Everything else is produce, some cauliflower, florets for a dinner recipe. I did just get the tricolor of peppers. I think I needed two and this was more affordable organic wise to just buy the three pack. Bananas for a recipe and then also some broccoli florets for a recipe. So that is this week's grocery haul again from Fred Meyer or Kroger and Trader Joe's. So let's jump into what you're going to see for meal prep and the dinners that I'm planning on making this next week. So here is what is on the menu for the week. You guys, it's May 1st. I can't believe this year is almost halfway over. So this is the week of May 1st through May 7th. Today, Saturday, we'll go out to dinner, frozen pizza, support a local business as always. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm making crock pot baked beans and I'll probably pair that with some chicken. You will see that recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, so stay tuned for that. Monday, I'm going to do BLTs. Tuesday is a leftover night as always. Wednesday, I'm gonna do a sausage, pepper, onion, and potato hash. This sounds so good. I have a pack of the Sam's Choice chicken apple sausage in my freezer that I want to use up. Thursday, I will do French dips, and then Friday is a leftover night. Here is what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep, so stay tuned for these yummy recipes. I'm going to be doing a biscuits and gravy casserole. I love biscuits and gravy and this is just an easy way to make a lot of them at once. Lunch is going to be sticky sesame chicken and broccoli. I might pair this with some rice so we're going to have some Asian flair and then for a snack I'm making snicker doodle bars. I don't know this sounds really delicious so stay tuned for all three of these recipes on Monday for meal prep. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing that great idea for a Mother's Day gift. I will make sure it is linked down in the description box for you, as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Don't forget to head on over and join us for that great challenge starting May 1st today. If you enjoyed this grocery haul, give this video a big huge thumbs up. And don't forget, if you are new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Saturday and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!